situations in the world that cause us to come together and, and hold hands and join hearts and uh, and stand up for our friends, our brothers, sisters uh, in different parts of the world. Uh, at this time, a surprise, I think, to many of us that, uh, that it was in a place that is recognized typically as a peaceful and quiet part of the world, not unlike ourselves here. Not that it can't happen anywhere, it's, uh, it's been proven, but these senseless tragedies and, uh, and uh, acts that, that cause such sadness and grief throughout the world and throughout our respective communities. Uh, it's a mere, talking to Carrie and Jim just a, a few minutes ago, it was just less than three years ago we gathered the same, uh, same fashion to recognize uh, friends and brothers and sisters in Orlando, Florida. And here we are, not three years later, and, uh, and doing this again. So I welcome everybody here, and I want to thank you uh, with all my heart for coming and showing so much respect for our, uh, for our brethren uh, in New Zealand today. And uh, to ask everybody to, as we go through this exercise today, there's a pledge there. We, we have to act um, respectfully but assertively in standing up against hatred and standing for love. So uh, as we join in solidarity with our friends in New Zealand today, I, uh, I want to send love and best wishes to everybody here. And again, thank you very much for coming. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. I invite us in remembering the family members and the victims of violence. All, not all of the names have been released, but their souls swirl within our memories and within our thoughts, even though so very far away, so very close to us now, this hurt and this tragedy. We will take, even in the busyness of this town, Wolfville, we're going to take a minute of silence where we can remember, reflect, pray, and bring our collective thoughts of compassion. As we travel through this small part of the Annapolis Valley, we are very much aware a lot of the time of the wind. Can you feel it on your face this day? Can you feel it as it enters your body as breath? In a few languages, the word that is used for wind also means spirit and breath. We know that New Zealand is far away from us geographically. But the winds that cross the world, that move from place to place, likely bring us breath, spirit, and wind from that place. We are not distant, nor are we disconnected from the joys that people feel around the world, the sadnesses, the heartbreaks, the fear, the tragedy. And so by your act of will, by your breath, by your spirit, by coming to this place where the wind courses across each one of us, we, in that act of will, show our solidarity for a better world, one that does not include hate, violence, the taking of life. I encourage each one of us, as we reflect upon those lives lost in New Zealand, and others who hurt in every corner of the world 
that you and I can be the wind of hope, the breath of change, the spirit of compassion. We don't have souls, we are souls, as one of my friends taught the other night. And our souls cry and are embittered by the loss our world has felt. But let us not have our breaths stopped at that moment. May we breathe more into the coming days, bringing about the change that is so desperately needed. Aman, amen. I'd like to invite Bayar and Islam to come forward and to share a few words with us if they are able.